Sometimes we may second guess when buying certain foods because of inflation, but having these second thoughts isn't a problem at One Elbow Woman's Pay What You Can Stand. News 4's Mel Johnson introduces us to this gardener turned helping hand. Groceries aren't cheap. <laughs> Price hikes have affected even the smallest of households. We don't have a very large family, but the grocery bill is still staggering. Even if you are working, it's still hard to make ends meet. Aaron Worley, who's been known to have a green thumb, wanted to make a difference. Yeah, my nephew likes to make the Thus came an inspiration to launch a food stand where people can take what they need I get out here. and pay what they can. I can't eat 100 eggs a day. You know, so if I can help alleviate someone else's burden, then I'm more than happy to do so. Not knowing if it will be successful at first. Quite a few people I know told me it was not a good idea. Uh, they were afraid that people would take advantage of it and rob me. Those doubts were quickly proven wrong. People leave us messages in our box um, telling us how appreciative they are and how much how thankful they are for the quality of the goods and having this available. A stand that is very consumer friendly, it doesn't matter how much or how little. One can afford, all that matters is that you take what you need and pay what you can. There's like a single mom that comes and gets things every weekend and all she can pay is like quarters and I really wish she wouldn't even pay that. I wish she would just take what she needed and, and went for her kids, you know. Helping people out is all she ever wanted. It just makes makes my soul happy. Hoping she has an effect on others too. I'm hoping it'll inspire other people to realize it doesn't have to be big. You can do something very small and it can make a huge difference in other people's lives. Making an impact, one fruit, I mean, I also one veggie, and one egg at a time. In Elba, Jamel Johnson, your hometown news leader. All right, so that's usually kind of how it looks. Plus, Erin opens a stand on the weekends, and she hopes to eventually open weekdays.